Victor Chu of SkyTech One. Today we're going to review the Airport Advantage by Think Tank Photo. And this is a not only a carry-on, but it also will go on those really restrictive flights. Occasionally, you'll get um, from uh, you know do extremely local to local or domestic. And this is exactly what happened on uh, South African Airlines from Johannesburg to um, Cape Town. And actually, that's not exactly the reason. The exact reason was the tour company only allowed uh, 18 by 8 by 10, I believe. And this is exactly like within those restrictions, uh, guidelines. So, um, just to give an overview, uh, you got one outer uh, pocket here for laptops. Um, probably 13 inch uh, would be good. Probably even 15 inch. I don't remember. But um, so now we have the handle, telescopic handle. Uh, very nice. Got a zipper here. One handle here. Very nice wheels. Then we got another handle here. We got a. Uh, bot water bottle um, holder here with tripod um, straps which work very well so and finally we're just gonna open it up we have I have actually some stuff here this is almost exactly the setup I have of my uh, South African air trip uh, here we got the filters, uh, cards, passports, pens, uh, earphones for, for video. We have the Osmo X3 here with the ZX, uh, Z-axis stabilizer. Um, and this is where the iPad mini goes. This is the RX um, 100 Mark III. Task cam recorder, which I actually used. Um, hard drive, two, two terabytes. We got accessories here. This is actually a 3D printed um, Osmo kind of clip for for um, the iPad Mini. So you can put the iPad Mini on the Osmo. So pretty. I think this was like 30 bucks, 20 bucks. Extra two batteries because the drone. Uh, the drone bag was we use a small one this time and shout out to STC electronics for let me, letting me borrow that um, We got just miss more miscellaneous stuff. This was um, very important during the trip charger mobile charger uh, another another uh, filter This was the GoPro GoPro hero 4 or hero 3 with the underwater kit this is where this camera belongs which actually this is a Panasonic Lumix FZ1000 for actually I use it for like the Safari stuff um, 4k and I really enjoyed it and I, I, I think it's one of the perfect travel cameras if you only want to carry one camera so um, and no lenses so I forgot what I would had here but um, definitely could put something else here and uh, so, you know, everything, I like everything, this was very customizable, this, you know, I customized it, um, and so, what else, uh, the wheels, the wheels are very, very, uh, very smooth, you, you know, moving, when you, you move through it, you don't hear it, right, it's not really, it's not plastic, it's definitely got the ball bearings inside, uh, the tripod strap really, Really works well. Uh, never had an issue with it. Um, and we had a tripod on the trip. Uh, handles are great. Um, you can, oh, another area you can put a business card here, and then another area for. Oh, I have my earphones here. I just found my earphones, <laughs> and I had a lock here. Uh, now there are two things I think this bag can work on and it is here I would like to have uh, pens here and like a pa area for a passport or earphones right here um this is actually not a bad area 
I just forget about this part. But um, this would even be better. Flip up, put some pens here. And finally, um, I gotta show you something. Here we have a Think Tank Airport Essentials, which, um, ooh, these are, this is pretty old. Uh, this is, uh, um, also I'm going to review this next, but um, this is like the most amazing thing I've ever seen on a bag. And this is a lock, combination lock. So this is really good uh, for, you know, locking, a, you know, you can lock it like this. Let's say this was a pole. You can lock it onto itself. And this is, I've been using this like a lot, you know, in New York City, you got to be really uh, prepared. So um, you got this lock right here. And I just love it. I use it. And um, I mean, it's, you know, it's not going to prevent theft 100%, but you delay it for five, 10 minutes. It's always a good thing. And uh, if it had that and maybe another area to put your stuff here, then I think this will be a perfect bag. It's a great looking bag also. I just want to say it's a great looking bag. Uh, you know, the proportions are all great. Um, you know, this, this, this area looks good too. Uh, overall, it's just a great looking bag. This is probably my seventh, second favorite bag. Very close to actually, this is my first favorite bag from Think Tank. Um, there are, they're actually in time first place. This one looks a little better. Um, but overall, I highly, highly, highly recommend this bag. Um, video, photo, they're all good. And, uh, you know, well, the good thing about this is this, when you fill it up, it's not too, too, too heavy where you're like walking down the steps and like, you know, you, you feel like you might lose your balance. So this is really nice weight and size kind of balance. Um, and you can get it on thinktankphoto.com, thinktankphoto.com, it retails at, and that's pretty much it, uh, thanks for watching, remember to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and like me on Facebook, uh, fan page, and, uh, we'll keep, keep coming out with new reviews, and uh, also coming out very soon, a little sneak preview of South Africa, and you, you know, I'm, I'm sure. Uh, actually, I'm very happy to be working with uh, Marcus Warner, a uh, composer for, for, for South Africa. And, uh, it's really good music, so uh, stay tuned. So uh, until next time, mahalo.